park land. You know, where are we going to run the roads? What's the impact? What's it going to look like? Planning community, your planning uh, committee can love this type of, you know, real free and can look around it. talk about the three steps of certification, test taking strategies, and so forth. So using certification to get ahead, how many of you are certified or have ever taken a certification exam? Okay, a few of you. Um, use your certification to get ahead. If you are a employer, make sure that your employees that use Autodesk products are certified and boast about your certified staff and to use to get new contracts and those sort of things for your customers. But please use your certification to get ahead if you're certified. Um, you can leverage the Autodesk brand, uh, use it on job applications for recruiters, um, you can present it um, to different candidates um, to get the leader, make sure that the leaders of the pack are those that you're interviewing if you're an employer. If you're a certified user, you really are able to benchmark yourself um, within the product on the on the professional level, um, you can show them that you can. You're, you're hands on and you're you're very um, articulate in the in the software. A certified user, a user that that doesn't necessarily have a degree, um, that is uh, not certified, that goes into a new organization versus one that goes in with a certification with the same amount of of experience, typically comes out with a 15% higher salary negotiation. Now all of this came out from a study that was done by a technical magazine a few years ago. So it's really up to you to make sure that you keep your job skills um, current and, and can prove those as a country and as a whole of North America. So a little bit about the certification test. I get, a, I get this question a lot, how much does it cost? Uh, where do I go to get it? Um, you can uh, purchase it online through uh, autodesk.starttest.com and it can be, cost you as much as $220. Um, that is very um, manageable um, as far as uh, software certifications. If you go to get an MCSE or a Cisco certification, they're, they're a lot higher than that typically. So we have certified associate, certified professional. I just wanted to touch very quickly on the fact that if you, you need seat time, you can prep all you want to, but you need to sit down with seat time with the product where you really need to have 100 hours of seat time in every section of the objectives, and we'll talk about that, where you can find those in just a moment. And for professional, we think you need about 400 hours of seat time. That can be in the professional realm or in the school. And so the passing score, I want to talk a little bit about passing score. I get this question a lot. Um, inventor, the passing score for the associate exam is 70%, 60 minutes, 30 questions, multiple choice, and matching questions. With the Revit exam, it's 80% passing rate. In the professional exam, it's a 75 uh, passing rate for the inventor with 90 minutes and 20 questions, and this is hands-on in the product. And with uh, Revit architecture, it's 80% passing rate, same 90 minutes, 20 different questions, of course, a measurable end result. It's all task-based and, again, in the product. Now the associate exam you might find a little more difficult than the professional exam for the simple fact that it's benchmarking you in the product and you're not in the product actually doing your task over and over. So you may find it a little more difficult, but it's not just a multiple choice without a screen capture and those sort of things. There's interactive screen captures and those sort of things in the associate exam. But just so you know what to look for. And then uh, to become Autodesk uh, professionally certified, you do have to take the associate exam, but you don't have to take it in the same order. You can actually take the professional exam first and then go back and take the associate exam if that makes you more comfortable. And there is a retake process as well if you get one or the other. Um, and then as you can see here, there's plenty of certificates and logos uh, to go along with that. And that was on a couple of my, my first slides. So the quick three steps for assessment. Um, so there's three re real easy steps of success, but you have to make time for this. Remember I talked about the 100 hours and 400 hours. You're going to have to take the time for certification, but I don't want it to be daunting to you. I want you to at least sit down and make sure that you take the assessment test and prep to the best of your ability over the next two weeks and then at least go in and sit one or the other or both of the, the certification exam. So we're going to give you three easy steps. One, think about how you learn. Think about uh, what's easiest to you, for what knowledge is easier for you to uh, retain. Uh, classroom training, self-study guides, 
are you a reading uh, doer, a listener, or a watcher? Um, so make sure that you as students of digital school have the e-learning classes that are available to you as well from digital school. Make sure that you utilize them and you use those as study materials. It might not be what you're working on in the project in the classroom, but make sure that you're using those and, and going back to those. Um, we did a project with digital school about a year ago and had our internal applications engineers within Autodesk use the prep materials for specifically for Inventor. Um, Steve and team here at uh, Digital School pulled it together and got us some prep materials for Inventor. We turned those around very quickly to our internal staff and they prepped with those without seeing, this is a group that hadn't seen the test internally, and then sat and took the test and were pretty um, successful in taking the test. Those that have been around the product for those seat hours as we, as we recommended uh, passed the test very easily by using Digital School material so it has been tested um, within, internally within Autodesk. And then second, take the assessment test. Um, it's 50 to 60 items. It's $20 per attempt but it's free to you till May the 10th so the certification code that uh, Digital School will give you to, to gather your certification test or purchase it for free under your profile within the system um, also includes the, uh, the assessment test. Now the assessment test is not the same questions you'll find on the certification test. However, it will assess where you are in the product. It will give you a comprehensive report to tell you what you need to work on. And, um, and then you can take the objectives and, and go back and, and study those in the book or with the digital school materials. Um, and then get the training you need. So an ATC classroom, um, a digital school is an ATC. It's one of our top ATCs in Canada. And, uh, and is very robust in keeping up with everything that we're doing within the ATC program. Um, make sure that you know um, what exams they offer and what exams that you need to take. And then um, here's the preparation roadmap that I showed you uh, or I talked about. It's uh, autodesk.com forward slash certification. Um, this is the preparation roadmap, which is the key to your success. It's all of the objectives and how they will be presented in the exam is something that you definitely should should look at once you take your assessment test and get your your report make sure that you go to the objectives and those uh, areas that you need to work on make sure you know what's going to be uh, what objective is going to be included on the exams so note what you need to learn um, using Autodesk official training guides um, Autodesk uh, stamps a certain set of books uh, every year for official training guides and uh, we have a partner called Wiley Cybex, and they actually uh, produce our certification uh, books every year globally for us. But we think you can pass it the first time around, and so we want to make sure that you s prepare time on your calendar, schedule it, prepare time on your calendar, make sure that you have the prep materials, but not, not only that, but the time in your schedule. And so, um, and then promote, um, go back and uh, use AOTG materials, videos, or e-learning like you have here at Digital School. Um, plan for your testing day. I know these are kind of no-brainers, but you know, get enough sleep, eat before you go. Don't sit all up all night and prep. That doesn't work. I know. I, my first test after being away from the product for four years, I didn't get much sleep. I didn't do nearly as well as when I paced myself for my next exam. So uh, do a short focus review. Um, read your tutorials carefully and manage your time and don't dwell on an item when you can go back to an item but because it is a time test make sure that you keep up with the time so these um, planning for your testing days actually comes from our product development team our product development manager Barbara Bowen came up with these are the the top ten or the top few reasons why people think that they didn't do it as well as they could have so so pay attention to those and what to expect when you test you know you have to agree to terms and conditions including your information to be opt-in or opt-out for certification blitz like we're having here at, at digital school um, and then uh, you can have scratch paper but you can have books phones or calculators so, so be prepared for that and then uh, you will be provided a tutorial at the beginning of showing you what to expect in the exam so so those are your three easy steps to pay attention to and I wanted to uh, say again that digital school is an authorized training center, um, global e-training, and Get Live Virtual Classrooms are ATC um, uh, promoted classes this year. Uh, the ATC program, the Authorized Training Center program at Autodesk has been around for over 20 years. And then our last uh, slide is additional resources for certification and where you can go and find more information 
and those objective sheets that I talked about are listed at autodesk.com forward slash certification. I know that some of you took an inventor certification prep class this morning and a Revit certification prep class this morning. We're excited that you were in those classes because these are the classes that generally the information that you got this morning was generally the same information that was given at AU for last year and we'll, we will be giving the virtual class at AU in September for the 2012 exams. Um, virtually, those will start sometime in September or October, and then we'll be giving certification again this year at AU. In the meantime, you have two weeks to take the exam, and then we have four certification days. So we've got Autodesk certification days coming up. Um, the June the 2nd is our first one. Digital School is gonna be a part of this. Um, uh, July 21st, September, uh, July 22nd, September 21st, and October 20th will be our Autodesk certification days. And we're about to launch a registration site where you can go in for $25, have the ability to go in and take not one but two certification tests if you want to come in that day and take your certification exam as well. And then lastly, be sure you come to AU for 2011 in Las Vegas um, the week after Thanksgiving, as it is every year, and that we... Um, and that you can get certified there for free as well. So there's a, a lot of uh, affordable ways for you to get certified. We just want you to be prepped because we want you to have a fantastic pass rate as well. So that's all I have, thanks.